Right, so we've got a brand new firmware available for the DJI Osmo Nano. And that version is V01.01.0860. So now I'm just going to show you how to download that firmware on the Mimo app. So first of all, the white tab there is prompting that there's a new firmware. So we'll just highlight that. And then straight at the bottom here, we've got some release notes. So as you can see there, we've got quite a few updates. So what's new? We've got added support for slow motion video playback. We've got optimized power consumption and heat management. Now that's a great one because there's been a few complaints about the Nano overheating there. And then we've finally got added super night mode, enhancing the video quality in night scenes. Now I'm really pleased about this one. This is the main reason that I want to update. Because this is something I picked up straight away when I were filming in super night mode with the Nano. And I were comparing it in the darkness with normal filming mode. And it just looked really dark as I'm going to show you on screen now. I know we're doing a comparison video with the Action 5 Pro. And it's got the same image size sensor. And it's on more or less the same specs. So I would imagine it were going to be a great side by side comparison. But as you can see from the footage the Super Night Mode on the Action 5 Pro was way better than on the Nanos. So I'm really pleased that DJI has picked up on that and fixed that. So stick around because later on I'm going to really test out that new Super Night Mode. And then we've got added support for the DJI Mic 3. And we've also got added support for preview and vertical shooting in live view. And we've got added horizon balancing for the EIS mode in hyperlapse mode. And we've got added anti-motion blur for the stabilization scenario in image parameters. When enabled, motion blur will be reduced in low light environments. Optimized startup experience. Added support for viewing SD card status and capacity when connected to the MIMO. And then finally, the good old one from DJI with fix some minor bugs. So as of now making this video, I've owned the Nano for 9 days now. And I've been testing out this Nano thoroughly since I bought it. And I'm pleased to see that DJI has addressed them issues there, especially with the Super Night Mode. So now let's install the firmware. And I do find when I'm updating any DJI products through the Mimo app, it's quite a quick process. And now we can see the firmware update's been successful, so we'll just hit the done tab at the bottom. And then straight away, we now got a fully updated Nano. And now we'll just connect the Nano to just check that it's fully updated correctly. And now you can see that I've synced the Mimo app straight to the Nano, and that firmware version was very successful. So do stay tuned to the channel, I'm going to be testing out this new firmware over the next few weeks to really see if DJI has ironed out those issues there. So as always, do stay tuned to the channel, as there's going to be plenty more videos on the horizon. Especially we're testing out this latest firmware from DJI on the Nano. But for now, thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and bye for now.